welcome back to another youtube video so i got back from colorado two days ago and then yesterday we had a really fun shoot day it was really cool i'm so not used to like keeping certain campaigns a secret that's just like never really how i've role and in turn with really turning my brand into a business there are just certain things that we do a little bit differently now and keeping the big campaigns that we're investing a lot of money into like a bit of a surprise and rolling out like really well done graphics is part of what we do now so i'm sorry that i like i'm not showing as much like behind the scenes of the shoots but anyways had a very long day yesterday pretty much was shooting all day and then yesterday night filmed a tacoba's ad cooked dinner and then went to bed on the earlier side so it's wednesday today and this is my busiest day this is usually my busiest day of the week tommy is gonna be here for like a week and a half which is so rare and i'm just like really grateful that he's here and that he's getting to spend some time here but yeah this is gonna be like a little home vlog lots of work i'm like hiding in my room right now because i have so much to do i'm procrastinating a little bit i have a catch-up meeting with my team and then i have a few dairy boy meetings today like three dairy boy meetings today and then i have a meeting with my lawyer i have another meeting Something I can't talk about yet, which I'm really excited about to share with you guys. And then I have to shoot an ad for Tiffany, the jewelry brand, for the holidays, which is a really cool one. And 437, the activewear brand. Wait, also guys, I have to show you my new hyper fixation. This glass tumbler with a glass straw, Amazon. I will link it. It's like my whole entire new personality. This is literally the best thing ever. And then there was first this Stanley. You guys know how obsessed I was with the Stanley. I feel like everyone was really obsessed with the Stanley. And now there's the bank. So this was sent to me in PR. They've sent me a few different colors. And it kind of just like ended up in my um, kitchen and I never really used it. And now this has fully replaced my Stanley. It's like a bendy straw. It kind of does feel like a binky, like a, what are these called? Like a sippy cup? It's called a bank. I don't know if it's any reference to the binky, but I would call it my binky. And it's like smooth and it's glass. I like that it's glass. But yeah, this has fully replaced my Stanley. Tommy says I have a problem with glassware and jars and water cups. Could be worse. But anyways, I had to show this with you guys. I need to continue working. Not the most exciting part of my day. But I do want to head to the market and maybe go to train to find my tree. I'm going to try to get as much work done as I can. Maybe I'll, should I bring them along with me? Okay, I'll do that. I'm going to take you guys through my actual full work day. So I shot typology this morning. I'll take you guys through how my schedule works. I just got a new phone, so that's why I have two right now. Um, I got the new iPhone. So I have a note with my whole team of all of the ads. Um, yes, I have that many ads to shoot. Crazy with all of the briefs. So brands have very specific briefs of what they want. They want you to include hashtags, links, all of that. Um, so it has a preview date, a live date, a brief. And yeah, so that's like my to-do list for ads, like overarching. And then I have a daily to-do and then I have a Dairy Boy daily to-do. So I have them pinned in my notes. So this is my daily to-do. I have preview for typology, one Instagram story set, four frames, and then one follow-up frame, which is like a follow-up frame is like months later. I have a preview for 437, one Instagram carousel, and then one story frame. And then I have preview for Tiffany & Co, jewelry brand. And then I have some selects I need to make. And then I have also, they prep me for like what's due tomorrow, just in case I wanna get anything extra done. I also need to film a reel for Dairy Boy Kitchen because I have a collab coming out with Hot Take Cookies, which is really, really exciting. I haven't talked about it yet, actually, on my YouTube. If you guys followed me for a bit now, you would know that I'm obsessed with Hot Take Cookies. I've bought them with my own money. They've sent me them. They're the best cookies. I love to bake. I've been, like, trying to perfect my chocolate chip cookie recipe, and they will just never be as good as Hot Take. Um, so I did a really fun collaboration with Hot Take Cookies. So I have to film a little reel for my Dairy Boy Kitchen because it's a Dairy Boy Kitchen Paige Lorenz collab. So I just need to like make them, talk about them. Super easy. We've already ate like half of them. And what else? And then I have a Majuri 
preview jewelry brand to film for my YouTube tomorrow. I have a lot of ads to shoot each day this week. This is the craziest time of year for influencers, content creators, and brand owners. It's just like how it goes around the holidays. Good problem to have. Yeah, it's a good problem to have. But I'm going to edit these story frames that I shot this morning for typology, and then I have another call soon. And I'll bring you guys along with me through my busy day. Don't worry, I'm gonna do other stuff. I really wanna go to the barn, wanna go to the market, Generally speaking, I don't think it's a good idea ever to work in bed in the daytime unless it's like a nap, but I do really like editing my ads in bed. Like I won't sit at my desk and edit my ads. I will always like sit here and do them in my bed and then I go and do something else. So I'm gonna quickly edit this, send it in, and then try to get it approved, I think. It's going live today. Some brands approve content really fast and you can get it up live um, and then some brands can take up to a week, so it depends. I am four minutes late to the meeting that I have to be on right now, so I'm gonna quickly hop on the call. Hey. Hi. How was the trip? We have a lot to go over. There, the on the screen. Basically, let me just like kick off the conversation with like, we are in like crunch mode for holiday because you're content calendar is actually insane. Okay, I literally just said that you should not work in bed <laughs> or spend time in bed. And Olivia and I are about to take a call from my bed. But today's a little different. We have so many meetings today that I think we just like don't want to spend the whole day in the office. <laughs> We never do this, but we're going to be doing it today. We never take meetings from here. Liv, yeah. I literally just said to my vlog, I was like, it's not good to like do work in bed, like you shouldn't be in bed, and we're taking a meeting from our bed by bed. But we don't do this often. Yeah, I've never taken a meeting from this bed. <laughs> Me, <laughs> first, personally. This is the first time for everything. Lauren, this is the tumbler with the glass It is cup. cute. It is cute. I watched you put that lemon water in and I was like, hmm, sounds refreshing. Right? <laughs> yeah, where? Do you have the link? I used to uh, okay. text it. Right to your email. Oh, here. While you guys are in your meeting and then when you're done, Go, we just text me and we'll do that. Perfect. And then Bill Bradley's coming Friday. Slay. Are you going to be in Vegas? No, okay. I'm going on Saturday. Okay, perfect. I think he will inject him then. Perfect. Yeah. I'm going to miss him. Oh, no, I'll be there. Yeah, yeah, you'll be there. I love him. He loves you. They think the wrong parts for your car. Cool. Um, Discuss yeah. the PJ top. I know I didn't get. Okay, guys, what have you been up to? Uh, I changed the oil in the truck. Wow, that's so sweet of you. Well, I didn't do it myself. I took it to the shop and they did it. It's okay. Um, and then I was gonna get a Christmas tree. I'm gonna come with you. But yeah, I wanted you to come with me. Do you like my sweater? I'm getting in the Christmas spirit. Yeah, I do like it. Is that Christmassy or just the red and white? It's just the red. <laughs> And then I was messing with the drone a little bit. You are? We, we gotta get the micro SD card. Do you want some sausage? Tommy and I are running out. We are just going to get a Christmas tree. Another reason why these are so nice is because I love drinking my drinks in glass, but a lot of the times glass jars or cups don't fit in a cup holder, but this one does. What flavor is this? Smells good. Bye. We love Celsius. We love Celsius. Okay, I'm really torn. I am not a fake tree person. So here's the thing. We're going to Florida in December. So yeah. if we get a real tree, yeah, it's going to die. It's going to so die. So I think we get a fake tree here I agree. and then a real tree in Florida. I agree. Completely agree. All right. We get a huge tree in Florida. Huge real one? Yeah. Do they even have those in Florida? Do they ship them in? I don't know what they do. That's a good question. I love the feeling and smell of a real tree, but it just doesn't make sense. I love the festivity. So we're gonna go to Terrain, which is a home and garden store. It's owned by Anthropology. You guys know I go there a lot in my vlogs, but I think that they will have the best version of a fake tree. Did you see any today when you went? Yeah. Were they good? Yeah, they were expensive. It's to be expected. It's you know. Like, what's your guess? How much do you think? How much do you think? Drop in the comments. If I were... <laughs> I love that. <laughs> if I were to guess, I would guess 800. 
pretty good guess. Pretty good guess. Different tiers of like how nice they look. Wait, I'm really excited now. Why? Just because I love this store. It's my favorite store and I haven't seen their like Christmas setup yet. It's a lot. <laughs> Cue Christmas music. Really that was a high one. Okay, we're back at the house. I made these yesterday, pickled cauliflower. I'm going to put some in a little plate and then I have another meeting. My problem was... Okay. I usually drain it a little bit and then just put it in this dish. Okay, just some olive oil and then some of these. What are these? Chili flakes, just a little bit. Snack. Okay, back in the office. I don't want to take this off. I feel like a lot of people would think this is gross, but it's actually the best snack. Okay, just finished my last ad. Nope, that's not true. <laughs> I have one more to do. Um, Two more. Tiffany's and hot take. Back to the house. Tommy is doing push-ups in the office. I put on some lipstick for this call that I'm about to have, and I feel like I look kind of insane. So I made myself more. some tea. Tommy is telling me that my YouTube plaque, my 100K subscribers plaque, gets blocked. I need to move it. Right here. I feel like it looks silly there. Maybe there. Gonna hop on this call. Hi. Okay, Tommy's on the steaks. I'm just making some mashed potatoes. I just got off my last call for the day. I've had a very long day. I'm really tired. I've been like pretty stressed. I'm stressed because I want all of the content that I'm making right now to be like the best quality and I just want to get everything done really well and there's just like a ton going on in my whole entire life right now. But another thing that I didn't mention, Tommy and I are going to the F1 race with Celsius this weekend on Saturday. Tommy is sponsored by Celsius, is one of his main sponsors for his tennis. I've worked with Celsius in the past and I'm going with them. Um, they're paying me to go and post and do all that. And I've never been to an F1 race before. So I'm really excited about that. And it's cool to go having it be a work opportunity. I always love that. Um, yeah, it's always good. So we're excited for that. So it's going to be a busy week and then a busy weekend. We're just going to have like a chill night. I, I want to get to bed early tonight because today was crazy. And then tomorrow is going to be crazy. Not as crazy, less meetings, but, um, I still have some ads and stuff I need to shoot and some meetings for Dairy Boy. Um, but definitely want to tomorrow go to the barn. So I'll bring you guys along with me for that. Okay, here is dinner. Some chorizo with bread, steak, mashed potatoes, and gravy. I feel like this is your ideal dinner. This, I could eat this every single night. <laughs> okay guys. I am going to bake my cookies. Yeah! Yeah! Here they are. I would say I'll show you how to make these, but you literally just take them out of the freezer and um, put them on the sheet. And to be honest, this has made me never want to bake chocolate chip cookies again because they're just so good and mine are never this good no matter what I do. Okay, so you literally just reach in the bag, 
in place two or however many you want and then put them in the oven and you have the perfect oatmeal chocolate chip cookie. They're warm and they're just so good. Guys, we're gonna eat this cookie and go to bed, but I will see you tomorrow. Do you like them? So good. So good. Good morning vlog. I'm about to blow dry my hair and film another ad. I know. We've had a very productive morning. I'm feeling a lot less stressed today, which is nice. But Tommy is outside making lunch. He is making his famous little sausage. What would you call them? Sausage sandwich. Yeah. But we usually use chorizo and we have sausage. Italian sausage. Tommy's gonna do a takeover while I blow dry my hair. This is what we got. Already reheated a uh, sandwich from yesterday in the um, air fryer. So I kind of cheated a little bit, but <clears throat> I thought I'd make a little, you know, little sandwiches for everybody. We'll see how they turn out. I don't, I don't know how I feel about the sausage. It's not looking quite like the same, but we'll see. She's shooting an ad, so you guys are stuck with me for a second. And then we're gonna go to the barn. I got a new drone and I'm trying to learn how to use it and Hopefully we can get some cool shots over there. <clears throat> Taking the little bread, giving a little butterfly like this. You know, nothing crazy. Just put it on there for a minute. All right, sausage looks pretty much done. Now we just take them off and I wouldn't use my hands if I were you, but I'm gonna do it. Woo -hoo! That's hot. And then we'll slice them up and make them into little sandwiches. All right, <clears throat> we got the sausages out. I'm gonna cut them up into pieces about that big. And we're gonna throw them on, on there. And I'll show you the... <clears throat> All right, sorry about that guys, battery died. But we made them into little sandwiches just like that. Um, hopefully everybody likes him. There she is. guys we are going to go to the market to get stuff for dinner when Tommy and I first started dating I only say the market I don't really say the grocery store I mean sometimes I guess but I always say go to the market I don't know if that's an East Coast New England thing because a lot of people think that when you say the market you mean like going to the farmers market or like the town market I say the, the grocery store yeah. Or Publix. <laughs> I was about <laughs> to say. Publix sub slap. Did you have fun writing, Louie? This is an old copy. This and is There's from... always going to be an old coffee in her <laughs> car. <laughs> and, and she's going to have two, two sips. sips of it. <laughs> Exposing me. Were you going to Fresh Market? Duh, that's our new spot. Babe, I was ragging on Fresh Market. Like, when? 
Well, I've always kind of ragged on Fresh Market. I grew up in a town where there was no Whole Foods. We only had this place called the Big Y. If you're from- I uh, didn't have Piggly Wiggly? No, that's a Southern thing. Oh, we had a Piggly Wiggly. I wish we had a Piggly Wiggly. We would always go after my Little League baseball games. Piggly I love Wiggly. that. It was the first like bougie market in my hometown was when I was older and it was the fresh market. And I was always just so jealous of people that got to shop at Whole Foods because Whole Foods was like 30 minutes from my house. So I was always just like, oh, Whole Foods is the best. And I was like pissed at Fresh Market because I wanted it to be a Whole Foods. And I feel like sometimes they just like don't have the stuff that I needed. Anyways, I have a newfound love for Fresh Market. So for dinner tonight, I'm doing lemon orzo soup with chicken in it. It's so, so good. Who's all eating tonight? Uh, I think the girls are staying for dinner. And I invited my parents over for dinner. I, I don't Mark. know. I know, I really want to see my dad. Tommy's insisted that I show you guys the sunset. <laughs> Tonight, we are making a Greek salad, lemon orzo soup, which is actually like a Greek dish. And then we got stuff to make a steak sandwich.
Okay, we just finished our workout. We have to run right to the barn because the vet is coming for Louie. Louie had two abscesses on his foot that took like two months to heal, so I couldn't ride him. And then they got better. Now his back is really sore, so the vet is coming out because he's been really hurting. So sad, but it's okay. The vet's coming out, so we're gonna go check on that. And then I have a bunch of errands to run today before leaving for Vegas tomorrow we're leaving for vegas tomorrow morning right yeah i don't know what time we gotta figure that out yeah we're leaving for vegas tomorrow tomorrow morning i think it's early morning but I'm not sure what time so we're doing like a whole thing with celsius we're totally on celsius's schedule so they're putting us up in a hotel we're showing up and then the race is at night i'm not a huge fan of vegas I don't know if she's ever I've been never to been to Vegas. I've actively avoided Vegas. For one or two days, it's okay. Yeah. Tommy and I were both debating on not going to this. Tommy being sponsored by Celsius and then them paying me to go. We're going. And I think we're gonna have fun once we're there. I just think when tennis season is not in full swing, it's just so nice to just be at home. Like I don't really feel the dying need to leave home at all at all unless i'm getting paid so anyways we're excited for that now like that it's coming up now that it's tomorrow i'm actually pretty excited to go are you yeah i'm excited you are i've never been to a formula one race i I'm, haven't I'm, either f1's trendy right now yeah the netflix thing did it you think the netflix thing did it yeah it made it big in, in the states like it was it was always pretty big worldwide i think but really? i think it brought a lot of viewers okay. from the states to in the picture the same people who filmed The Drive to Survive for Netflix are filming the show that Tommy's in. And I guess I'm in a little bit. Well, I keep calling it the wrong thing. Breakpoint. Breakpoint. I keep calling it Point Break. Like, bitch, this isn't a fucking surfing movie. No. You just want food, don't you? <laughs> Louis feeling better. You just want food, don't you? Hey! Uh, hey, cuteness. Before I showed you guys what I got today in the mail, I have literally this entire windowsill full of PR. While I'm away, I have them lay this out for me so I can like take pictures of stuff and show you guys stuff. So Charlotte Tilbury sent this huge package, the Rocket Fund powered by Elton John Foundation. That's really cool. Okay, let me show you guys what's in it. Makeup pouch that I'll probably bring to F1 this weekend. Guys, Stetson, the like most iconic, famous cowboy western hat brand. I own two Stetsons and I paid full price for them. Now three. Now three. They sent me, ooh, a really cool jacket. That's really cool. Okay, next, some, ooh, candle dark rum. One of my favorite olive oil companies, Brightland, sent me some olive oil rosemary olive oil which i'll actually use for thanksgiving cooking and then just a regular extra virgin kylie skin sent some of their ooh shower stuff that looks really nice the packaging is super smooth vanilla body scrub which i will use tonight before my fake tan dibs beauty which is a really really nice um, makeup brand okay this one is a special one so she wrote me a little um, really cute letter, skinless and seedless vodka sauce. And they're a Connecticut company, low sugar, low sodium, test us sauces. So this was a really sweet gift by a small company. So Orby Hair Care. Ooh. Ah. So nice. Their packaging is just so good. I'm obsessed. With this, I used to buy Orbi uh, full priced at the salon. I just think it's amazing. So it's still a treat to receive PR from them. So really excited. And this color yellow is gorgeous. Stolte Vita sent a bunch of shoes. Oh, these are cute boots. Oh, cute. They also sent these. These are really cute. These are perfect for tennis matches because they're not too high. Dior sent their um, whole holiday miller, which I already opened, but I didn't open this perfume. So they sent me the Miss Dior perfume. Goop sent me their mailer. This was really nice. All of their 
um, I think it's like their best skincare stuff. Heaven Mayhem, my favorite earring brand. You guys know I wear them at like every tennis match. Sent me like eight of their new earrings. I'm like, oh my God, there's so many. I'm so incredibly grateful for them to send me stuff because I've like, I've literally bought them with my own money. So they sent me three boxes with like a million earrings in them. Tata Harper sent me a really big, cute, cute box. One thing about Tata Harper is they slay the packaging. They have the most high quality packaging. They give me like a big restock of all of my favorites. Guys, like the packaging, the color, the feeling of the box, the glass that it comes in. If you are looking to splurge on really nice, high quality, ethically made, US made skincare, specifically New England, because it was made in Vermont, Tata Harper is the best. And then still here, New York sent me, ooh. These have been sold out online forever. Wow. Those are insane. These are their cool jeans. And they're so cute, so incredibly grateful for every single brand that has sent me stuff. 